Thank you for the introduction, Dr. Gleave, and uh, uh, thank you for uh, joining this discussion today. My name is Taewon. Uh, believe it or not, uh, PGY4 here at UBC. Um, I'll be leading the discussion on the prostate cancer in Asian men. It will be an overview of epidemiology of prostate cancer in Asian men, looking at the recent uh, epidemiology from the incidence and the mortality standpoint, looking into trends of epidemiology, as well as why there might be heterogeneity, not only uh, across, uh, not only between continents, but also uh, within uh, the continent. The latter half of the discussion, I'll be focused more, uh, more of a uh, elementary exploration of the genomics of uh, uh, prostate cancer specific molecular alterations that have been delineated in informing the, the molecular basis of a prostate cancer and how they might be different from the uh, key signatures uh, that are typically seen in non-Asian population. In 2020, as part of the World Health Organization initiative, uh, they published uh, uh, quite an extensive epidemiologic data spanning 36 cancer types across 185 countries. In the report, prostate cancer was the second most leading uh, cause of cancer uh, in men, accounting for uh, 1.4 million new diagnoses in 2020. Correspondingly, um, it was the fifth most common cause of cancer related mortality in men accounting for more than 375 uh, deaths uh, that year. Prostate cancer is truly a global epidemic, representing the, the most frequently diagnosed cancer in men across 112 countries uh, out of 105 participating countries. You can see on this global overview that prostate cancer is the, the number one uh, cause of cancer across all Americas. Majority of Europe, Africa, affecting Australia, New Zealand, Asia visibly uh, stands out of this pattern, lung cancer being the most common cause of cancer affecting that region. Not surprisingly, looking closely at the epidemiology data in Asia, the, the incidence rate uh, and mortality rate of prostate cancer remained the lowest um, out of all the uh, areas of the world being reported. This is being reported in an age standardized incidence rate, looking at uh, adjusting the, the rate of incidence uh, based on a standardized or theoretical uh, age group distribution of using a theoretical population model. And in Asia, uh, incidence rate was 13.6 per 100,000 men. You can also appreciate the wide uh, variation uh, in incidents across the world um, with almost a five-fold reduction in incidence compared to North America in Asian uh, men with prostate cancer. Mortality less variable. Um, it is still the lowest mortality in Asia. I think this also has to be reflected. Um, we have to be cognizant of the fact that the incidence in Asia is low to begin with and this mortality rate actually might uh, might be relatively high compared to other regions. And in fact, another useful way of look at conceptualizing mortality related to prostate cancer would be looking, we would be looking at mortality rate relative to incidence. This is expressed in MIR ratio. And once you compute this number, you can see that uh, this uh, paints a different picture. Asia um, mortality adjusted to incidence rate all of a sudden exceeds that of global rate now becomes almost four times higher than their cohort in North America. Another way of conceptualizing MIR would be um, the concept of a late diagnosis that uh, uh, men in Asia are presenting with a relatively late diagnosis and perhaps conferring a higher risk of uh, mortality. One can also appreciate the wide regional variation in MIR across Asia. For instance, in East Asia, mortality adjusted for incidence ratio was the lowest, where countries belonging to this region tend to have higher socioeconomic status. You compare that to the rate from South Central Asia, for example, where uh, the index of socioeconomic status is relatively lower. Such regional differences suggest that there may be broad influences outside of inherent disease characteristics, possibly influences related to the socioeconomic status 
and corollary to that, the quality of healthcare system that may uh, contribute to this observed variation, uh, not, not only uh, across the world, but also within the region. In fact, uh, looking at the baseline PSA characteristics across uh, different Asian ethnicities, no significant variances or, uh, variations are observed. Uh, not the most perfect way of uh, determining their baseline risk, but at least we can glean from this uh, non-head-to-head comparison that um, the, the biological uh, risk may not be very different uh, across uh, uh, different Asian ethnicities, and that and such variation we see in epidemiologic data uh, may, uh, is definitely rooted in um, uh, differences in, in the healthcare quality uh, um, and, and their socioeconomic influences. In fact, uh, central to any uh, prostate cancer epidemiology is, also, uh, is uh, conceptualizing the uh, Human Development Index. It's an index of uh, a nation's achievement in three fundamental categories in health, education, and wealth. And epidemiologic studies have demonstrated a correlation with prostate cancer incidence, mortality, and mortality to incidence ratio. And you can appreciate from this snapshot that uh, there is certainly a wide heterogeneity observed across different regions of Asia. And that, uh, uh, and the need uh, to interpret this in the context of uh, the fact that uh, the countries possess a different uh, um, index of uh, human development. The trends of prostate cancer have uh, demonstrated notable uh, trends. Um, for instance, prostate cancer and in incidence in Asia is uh, actually rising across areas where the data is available, despite yeah, absence of. Absence of uh, wide um, uh, uh, adoption of PSE screening. A lot of postulations have been made in terms of uh, uh, explaining this incidence, including aging population, uh, perhaps even adoption of westernized diet, but no clear um, cause has been uh, demonstrated in a, a rigorous uh, research setting. Mortality trend across Asia is a bit more variable and tend to favor countries with, again, the higher socioeconomic status. Notably, if you look at the trends over the last 20 years across North America, uh, opposite trends are observed, uh, decreasing incidence of prostate cancer, decreasing uh, a mortality rate related to prostate cancer during the time where PSA use has been um, implemented uh, for longer than uh, uh, their contemporaries in uh, Asia. In fact, it's difficult to estimate the true extent of PSA use uh, in Asia. A lot of this also has to do with the fact that there's uh, quite a limited high quality randomized control data informing the benefit of PSA screening, specifically in Asian population. The, the fundamental recommendations that we've implemented here in North America have been based on uh, um, uh, rigorous uh, multi-institutional long-term studies, uh, predominantly uh, in the uh, US and uh, a European cohort also have to recognize that the uniform adoption of PSC screening across uh, Asia may be influenced by um, uh, factors outside of the disease, such diverse healthcare models, access to care, different public health priorities with different population structures, longevity, even public health priorities where prostate cancer is not the most frequently uh, affected disease in, in, uh, in their aging population, they just may not have um, uh, the incentive or the resources to implement such uh, uh, rigorous um, guidelines in addition to the generally poorly optimized primary care uh, in a lot of the developing Asian countries. Japan is actually the only uh, country that is currently uh, looking at in a prospective control uh, a trial looking at the benefit of PSA screening in Asia. They've been recruiting since 2002 with estimated contamination rate of 12%. They're awaiting mortality analysis. It was supposed to be conducted in 2020, but we're still waiting for the results of that. Japan, in fact, is the only country in Asia to adopt PSA screening that they've been doing that since 2008. And they've maintained this stance on the benefit of PSA screening and their latest guideline in 2017. As a result of their screening, they've noticed the expected increase uh, in the prostate cancer uh, scene, 
the mortality is increasing but likely to attenuate with longer follow-up. In their survey in 2015, they've uh, demonstrated that 83% of the municipalities had adopted screening, but the exact extent of uh, uptake is, uh, is not very well delineated. Influence of PSA screening in Asia has been very obvious. Uh, we've known from um, long-term follow-up of uh, ERS, PC, and Goldberg uh, trials that there's a clear mortality reduction benefit with PSA uh, screening. In Asia, there's high rate of metastases, uh, uh, metastatic prostate cancer diagnosed in Asian men, uh, ranging from 25 to 44%. This compares unfavorably to the rate from the American or UK cohorts, or even Japanese cohort, uh, um, which have adopted PSA screening since 2008. Despite this finding, survival of prostate cancer in Asian men remain generally favorable over the last 20 years or so, particularly in South Korea, where they've demonstrated uh, a significant increase in their uh, survival over that time period. They've also demonstrated during that time, the rate of treatment for localized disease has significantly increased, perhaps alluding to uh, a, a subtle stage migration that may be occurring outside of um, uh, formally published uh, guidelines on PSA screening. And it is likely that they have um, um, a more increased awareness of uh, prostate cancer, the improvements in management and diagnostics uh, that are being implemented, but the extent of it is, is uh, largely unknown in the absence of dedicated cancer registry um, across uh, even uh, very highly developed Asian nations. India, uh, for example, was uh, uh, demonstrated very uh, a significant improvement in, in survival over the years, but the, uh, 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 but the actual rate of survival remains low, owing to high rate of metastases at presentation almost quarter of the disease. I think it's interesting to go over the prostate cancer data in Asian immigrants because um, now you get the sense that there may be ethnic differences in prostate cancer outcomes exist. Um, they're the, a group of population that are of particular interest uh, uh, since they share similar environmental influences and may be subject to the, the rigors of a, a PSA screening more readily than uh, 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 a native counterpart in their home countries. Looking at large uh, uh, public SEER data uh, that captures 35% of the American population, uh, a cohort of Asian Americans, almost 2,000 of them, uh, had uh, presented with higher proportion of uh, a so-called higher risk disease, PSA diagnosis greater than 20, Gleason score greater than eight, clinical stage T3 or four or metastatic disease. What's notable about this cohort is when they uh, did a propensity matched analysis, uh, matching them for Asia diagnosis, PSA, biopsy Gleason score, clinical stage and treatment type, being, Asian, uh, being of Asian race was a significant, uh, significant predictor of favorable cancer-specific mortality in both non-metastatic and metastatic setting, indicating perhaps uh, more favorable outcomes in this uh, population. A similar benefit has been demonstrated in metastatic cohort as well. Uh, looking at the CR data once again, uh, Asian race was associated with lower uh, cancer-specific mortality uh, multivariable analysis. It was the only race to uh, uh, demonstrate this effect. Five-year overall survival was 30 months, which compared uh, um, uh, better compared to non-Hispanic white population. In an independent comparison, uh, a Japanese cohort undergoing primary androgen deprivation therapy demonstrated better overall survival compared to the American cohort. But uh, this should be looked into uh, by the fact that there's a, a significant difference in the cohort sizes, but also the primary androgen therapy in Japanese cohort was uh, offered for a wide uh, a variety of uh, indications, not just metastatic disease. In reconciling the ethnic differences in outcomes, one cannot help but uh, question the, uh, uh, the role that environmental exposures play, um, specifically from the dietary or uh, social habits, possibly modulating the risk of prostate cancer outcomes. Specifically, in a large Asian cohort uh, uh, that have uh, been prospectively recruited since the 1960s, 
uh, your index of uh, um, uh, body mass index of smoking or alcohol use was not associated with prostate cancer mortality. But this was in a, in a, a finding that was uh, in contrast to uh, the Western cohorts, uh, the studies that are being uh, published recently. In a prospective Japanese cohort study, um, they, on a baseline questionnaire, established distinct dietary patterns um, and they followed these uh, um, patients uh, into 2012, demonstrated that those who maintained a westernized diet characterized by higher intake of meat, including processed meat, eel, dairy, fruit juice, or coffee, among other items associated with higher risk of localized prostate cancer. Prudent diet, on on the other hand, uh, with uh, propensity for vegetables, fruit, and soy associated with lower risk of localized prostate cancer. This has been evaluated in a meta analysis in 2009, um, confirming that soy consumption, uh, which was determined uh, by self questionnaire, was associated with lower risk of prostate cancer. But this benefit was limited to intake of non fermented uh, soy foods only uh, and, and Asian populations only. This the benefit was not demonstrated in the white population. It's also important to examine the, maybe the cultural differences in, uh, in decision treatments. Uh, again, looking at a large uh, um, public database, uh, sorry, a large hospital based uh, database in America. Uh, once again, affirming that uh, uh, men uh, uh, from Asian uh, background tended to present with prostate cancer as uh, a more higher risk uh, compared to their non-Hispanic white uh, counterparts. In, in that analysis, most ethnicities except for Japan were more likely to decline treatment or active surveillance. Using the uh, same database, but with a less follow-up, uh, they demonstrated that Asian Americans were more likely to refuse local regional treatment for intermediate and high-risk prostate cancer compared to white men. A number of uh, barriers to care may exist, including language barriers, health literacy, even cultural beliefs uh, that may um, ultimately um, influence their uh, treatment around decision, uh, uh, their decisions around treatment. Uh, concluding the epidemiologic discussion of this part of uh, this, this Part of the talk, uh, the burden of prostate cancer is overall rising in Asia. Incidence is definitely rising. There's been a variable trend of mortality uh, tending uh, tend to favor uh, countries with a higher socioeconomic status. Likely related to the uh, effect of uh, uh, or the absence of of a global adoption of PSA screening in Asia, a relatively high percent of Asian men are presenting with metastatic disease. This is not being observed in Japan where they've implemented PSA screening since 2008. Outcomes related to prostate cancer are generally favorable in Asian men in literature, likely owing to multiple factors, including environmental and exposures, but there might be underlying genetic influences that ultimately modulate the, uh, uh, their outcomes. I'd like to focus uh, the, the remaining part of the discussion looking at the specific genomic, uh, genomic uh, um, uh, alterations in Asian men that have uh, uh, come to light um, uh, recently. There's been you know, enormous uh, push towards uh, uh, really delineating the molecular characteristics and the understanding uh, of it from a genomic level in prostate cancer and a lot of uh, with the advent of next-generation uh, um, next sequencing, being able to delineate uh, at which molecular level and potentially any therapeutic targets may be implemented in the management of this uh, clinically uh, heterogeneous disease that is ultimately rooted uh, uh, in uh, genomic instability. Um, uh, such a, a genomic events can be a somatic uh, or germline or, or, or hereditary aberrations in the form of copy number alterations, mutations, fusions, uh, single nucleotide polymorphisms. And not surprisingly, the degree of genetic mutation burden is associated with metastases, uh, increasing age, and Gleason score. The Cancer Genome Atlas in 2015, using a comprehensive analysis of 333 primary prostate cancer uh, samples, 
uh, uh, delineated uh, the key hallmark uh, molecular subtypes of uh, prostate cancer. Uh, majority of them defined by a fusion involving the E26 transformation specific uh, uh, family uh, group, um, as well as mutation in uh, 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 key modulators in uh, SPOP, FOXA, and IDH1. Notably, um, Almost uh, more than a quarter of these tumors cannot be assigned to these uh, molecular subtypes, indicating there's still uh, a lot of data left to be explored. Um, this cohort, however, severely underrepresents uh, uh, Asian representation uh, with only a, a fraction uh, of them being included in the part of this analysis, raising the possibility that the generalizations uh, from this uh, uh, molecular uh, uh, taxonomy um, might not be readily uh, uh, applicable to uh, Asian men. Nonetheless, the significance of TCGA have raised uh, uh, opportunities for uh, uh, precision or targeted therapy, specifically mutations in SPOP and FOXA, uh, which tended to be associated with higher uh, androgen receptor transcriptional activity, which we know is a marker of a progressive uh, metastatic uh, disease. DNA repair defects was also not uncommonly noticed in 20% of the samples affected by mutations or deletions in these uh, genes that we're familiar with. Um, again, uh, reinforcing uh, um, uh, the therapeutic targets with PARP inhibitors or uh, platinum-based chemotherapy. Alterations are also seen in the PI3K RAS uh, alterations. Uh, almost a quarter of the samples affected with uh, uh, demonstration of preponderance of G10 uh, tumor suppressor loss. If we're really uh, uh, delineating the genomic differences in prostate cancer, you have to recognize the fact that there's been minimal Asian representation in this landscape. It's also, uh, you have to make the effort to reconcile that, uh, at least in literature, there's uh, uh, the different prevalence of indolent or PSA screen cancers uh, versus uh, metastatic prostate cancers uh, owing to the influence of or uh, a lack of screening in Asian men. Nonetheless, recent efforts such as the Chinese Prostate Cancer Genome and Epigenome Atlas that we'll discuss demonstrate unique genomic characteristics of prostate cancer in Asian men. CPGA was a comprehensive analysis of primary prostate cancer in Chinese men, utilizing whole genome sequencing, whole genome bisulfide sequencing to look at DNA methylation status as well as RNA sequencing. What's notable about this uh, analysis is that they were able to use the raw TCGA data from uh, years ago, uh, and they were able to process it using their own pipeline, um, and they were able to replicate uh, uh, almost identical findings, and uh, uh, it, which allowed them to make direct comparisons. Um, in the process, they demonstrated that the mutation, overall mutation burden across the cohorts was a, a similar, uh, but notable alteration patterns and seen between the cohorts, including um, um, increased uh, alteration frequency in uh, mutation of FOXA1 uh, gene in a Chinese cohort, and characteristically a loss of ETAs, uh, ETS fusion status um, uh, in the Chinese cohort. So I'll, I'll focus on these, uh, uh, the implications of this uh, over the next couple of minutes. FOXA is a, a 4 cat box A1. It's a pioneer factor. It unwinds a condensed chromatin uh, allowing the binding of nuclear hormone receptor. An example of a nuclear hormone receptor is an androgen receptor. Once it binds to the line again, translocates into the nucleus to drive uh, um, um, transcription. FOXA1 was the most frequently mutated in the Chinese cohort, 41%. It was notably less in the TCGA cohort. Different classes of FOXA mutations have been delineated based on location of alteration on genome. Class one mutation classically occurs within the forehead region, uh, especially along the hotspot called wing two. Uh, these are residues from 247 to 269 spots. The, the mutation tends to induce a missense and in-frame insertion deletion events in non-DNA binding residues. The sequela molecular uh, consequence of this uh, is that it allows uh, faster nuclear mobility thereby enhancing the androgen receptor activity. Class two mutation, on the other hand, typically occurs after the forehead region. It induces a frame shift mutation that truncates the C-terminal half of the protein. And it is this type of mutation that is typically rich to metastatic disease uh, via modulation of the Wnt pathway. 
There are broad impl uh, molecular implications of FOXA1 mutation. Class 1, typically enriched in localized prostate cancer, uh, are mutually exclusive with the ETS fusion event. Um, this is largely in keeping with uh, the findings from the CPGA that um, uh, demonstrated that the Chinese cohort characters, uh, characteristically lost this uh, signal. Class two mutations, uh, typical, uh, uh, which characterize metastatic disease, uh, enrich for a number of factors, including RV1, potentially modulating its role in lineage plasticity. Both mutations, however, though, uh, affect a, a broad oncogenic pathways, uh, inducing alterations in DNA repair, mismatch repair, the WIND pathway. FOXA mutation status, along with SPOP, produced the highest AR expression of, uh, in the TCGA cohort, and li uh, likely uh, highlighting its role um, in modulating the AR expression and driving uh, the progression of cancer forward. The Chinese uh, cohort, um, uh, classically their mutations were exclusively a uh, class one occurring within the wing to hot spot. Uh, and these, uh, they tended to produce more missense mutation uh, than uh, in-frame insertion deletion events. And this was noted to be higher, uh, associated with higher, uh, and one of the downstream effects of this was uh, uh, demonstrating a, a higher HSD17B6 expression, uh, which we'll get to a little bit later in the presentation, but it's a key enzyme involved in a, a, a DHT synthesis and may raise a possibility of modulating response to androgen deprivation therapy. Overall, these uh, effects are suggestive of broad tumorogenic effect of FOXA1 alteration. ETS fusion is characteristically lost in the Chinese cohort. Um, ETS is a, is a family uh, of uh, genes, um, including ERG, ETV, and FLI1. Uh, all four of these uh, were uh, defined as one of the molecular subtypes in the, uh, uh, the molecular taxonomy. ERG is typically dormant and morphologically normal prostate epithelial cells. The dormant ERG is activated by uh, ir almost ir irreversible aberrant fusion, placing ERG under control of androgen inducible promoters such as Tempris, which is a membrane bound serine protease. It is uh, this uh, uh, um, uh, driver event that uh, results in upregulated ERG oncogene expression, which is normally dormant and has basis for. Um, um, uh, a retention of the clonal signature through the progression of the disease, even from the uh, it, uh, early as a, the PIN stage. Clear ethnic differences in ETS fusion have been demonstrated in earlier non head to head comparisons. Asian men from China, Korea, and Japan demonstrated lower ERG frequency compared to Caucasian men in a retrospective series. Using the CPGA cohort, there was uh, a notably less frequently observed. Uh, compared to the TCGA uh, analysis. In a prospective uh, trial, uh, looking at the effect of AKT inhibitor plus uh, an abiraterone and prospective uh, metastatic CRPC cohort, temperance rearrangement was significantly lower in East Asian men compared to uh, non-East Asian men. Uh, distinct molecular implications of ETS status arise uh, of ETS positivity associated with uh, preponderance of P10 loss, which may enrich uh, the signaling through the PI3K uh, pathway. Uh, this, of course, represents an important therapeutic target. ETS negative subtypes include mutations in SPOP, FOXA, CH1, DNA damage repair gene mutations, again, creating uh, implications for uh, uh, um, targeted therapy. Several indications exist for germline testing and uh, contemporary guidelines. Uh, these genes have, uh, um, uh, have been centered around uh, ones involved in DNA damage repair, uh, mismatch repair, as well as, uh, uh, as, well as uh, uh, Hox B13. Recent uh, comprehensive genome-wide association studies identified up to 147 susceptibility loci contributing to hereditary prostate cancer. Uh, accounting up to almost 30% of familiar risk, but this was a study that was done predominantly in the European cohort. When comparing the, the susceptibility loci characterizing the, the men from European descent to the Asian cohort, there is a poor germline correlation. 
this was uh, attributed to possibly uh, the relatively low reported incidence of hereditary prostate cancers in Asian men. Um, but this also could be related to, uh, uh, it's hard to estimate the true extent of this in the absence of a, a dedicated registry to look at the uh, statistics more comprehensively. In any event, DNA damage repair de defects uh, um, are seen across all ethnicities. Um, of course, they uh, uh, predict response to uh, uh, PARP inhibitors and platinum-based chemotherapy. And Chinese and Japanese cohorts have independently demonstrated similar aberrations in DNA repair genes. What's interesting, though, a lot of uh, many pathogenic variants in Asian cohorts were considered novel. Um, and uh, pressing the need for more data and research into this area um, to see how these variants uh, um, uh, come for, may confer different response um, or, um, or phenotype of the disease. OXP13 is an, another important uh, um, uh, hereditary marker. It's a transcription factor that modulates response to androgens, although the exact mechanism is unclear. Uh, the specific variant that has been recognized in literature is the G84E variant associated with higher risk of prostate cancer, early diagnosis, and a, a quite strong marker of a positive family history. The G84E variant was not replicated in Chinese and the Japanese cohorts, although the clinical impact of these variants remain unclear. Um, and at least for the purposes of counseling and offering a, a germline testing, um, you have to recognize the differences in, uh, um, in the uh, expression of the variants and how they may impact the counseling around the hereditary risks of prostate cancer. One must also consider differences in response to androgen deprivation therapy owing to uh, the effects of uh, uh, the polymorphisms, the altering enzymes uh, in, uh, in, um, involved in the uh, uh, DHD synthesis. We alluded to, the, uh, to this earlier with alteration in the HSD3B1, which is a rate limiting enzyme in DHT synthesis. Studies have shown that both somatic and germline polymorphism in this enzyme was implicated in uh, uh, resistance to androgen deprivation therapy, as well as uh, inducing uh, uh, more likely to uh, result in castration resistance. The effect of HSD3B1 uh, polymorphism was specifically studied in a Japanese population, whereby they demonstrated that heterozygous or homozygous variants of this uh, allele versus the wild type was associated with higher risk of progression in men with uh, hormone-sensitive uh, metastatic prostate cancer undergoing primary androgen deprivation therapy. However, this uh, allele was uh, protective in, um, uh, uh, in those uh, receiving abiraterone for um, uh, castration resistant prostate cancer, uh, whereby they experienced greater PSA decline, treatment failure, free survival, and overall survival compared to the wild type. Of course, uh, uh, one has to consider the, the heterogeneity and the pharmacogenomic considerations um, uh, when considering um, different ethnicities. One can expect perhaps a different differential side effect profile observed and rooted in ethnic diversity. For example, there's been an emphasis towards dose modification, schedule switching, even supported by GCSF in Asian men uh, receiving taxane based therapy with metastatic disease given their uh, uh, higher um, uh, incidence reported of hematologic complications, including febrile neutropenia and myelosuppression. In a subgroup analysis of Titan trial in East Asian men, apalutamide uh, demonstrated uh, oncologic benefits, but high, uh, relatively higher rate of rash observed. And these uh, differences may indicate that uh, um, maybe, uh, maybe there's a underlying um, uh, differences in pharmacokinetics, maybe their body composition, um, other influences that may modulate uh, this observation. In summary, Asian men uh, with prostate cancer demonstrate characteristic mutations of FOXA1 as well as a characteristic loss of ETS fusion. A lot of the genomic alterations ultimately converge in common uh, uh, targetable pathways uh, compared to uh, genomic studies uh, 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 that have specifically looked at non-Asian cohorts. Of course, more work is needed in this area to delineate 
and the unknown germline variants and other uh, specific molecular subtypes and incorporate them into relevant guidelines and into our practice. And ethnic diversity potentially altered uh, pharmacolo uh, pharmacology of therapy, and that is still being explored. Um, I'd like to thank Dr. So uh, for his guidance uh, uh, in preparation of this talk, uh, as well as to Dr. McNeely, who have uh, planted a seed for this topic uh, uh, a number of months ago, um, when we're discussing ideas for grand rounds. So thank you to uh, both of them.